the death toll. You know, Biden tried to walk away from it and say he didn't know how reputable it was. The UN, the UN has said that it is most likely much higher because they haven't counted people in the rubble. And that to me, what Biden said was almost one of the most upsetting things. Like I get he's going to maybe be pro-military, you know, but to not even acknowledge the people who have died is that classic dehumanization. You know, I think to start a conversation about what peace looks like in that region, we have to actually start with recognizing the humanity of all the civilians in that region. And we aren't even close to recognizing the humanity of the Palestinians. The fact that Biden could say that he couldn't know whether or not that was the real death toll. When we have seen how many bombs, like you said, in a small space like Detroit, they bombed, I mean, in the first 10 days, the number of bombs that was dropped in Gaza equal the number of bombs that Russia dropped on Ukraine in a year. So we are not surprised about the Palestinian civil toll. We agree, the UN, that it's probably much larger. And for him to walk away from that, I thought was a classic dehumanization technique. And sadly, that's the conversation we need to be having is recognizing, just starting by recognizing the suffering, the humanity of the Palestinian people. And maybe then people like me can feel like they can be seen in this country.